Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a quick recipe with you guys. Uh, actually another bread recipe. We're going to be making unleavened bread today. Um, the feast of Passover, Pesach is coming up and also the feast of unleavened bread. And uh, that's not canceled. And I'm going to share this recipe with you guys. Hopefully it will be helpful for you. And uh, I'm wearing some festive earrings. <laughs> to match. I recently got my ears pierced and uh, my coworker was like, you need to go get these earrings because you've never been, you never had that childhood experience where you've been to Claire's after you got your ears pierced. So I got some uh, <laughs> festive earrings, but. So what you need is water, flour, salt, and olive oil really quick simple recipe so stay tuned okay so to start off this recipe you need two cups of flour so I'm just gonna dump that in the bowl then you also need a half teaspoon of salt half teaspoon of salt goes right in and three tablespoons of oil I like to use extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil because uh, that's a really good oil to use for cooking. You know, really good for your health. So you need three tablespoons of that. Then what you do is mix that all together in your bowl. Now what you want to do is add three fourths cup of water in here, and I measured out one cup in case I need a little extra water but and I'm spilling it everywhere so anyways what you do is you mix all that together and it should form a nice dough for you so as you can see uh I'm kind of doing this one-handed this is kind of the consistency that you will get it's a little bit tacky a little bit sticky but um good for what you're about to what are you doing I'm helping. oh you're helping. it's still moving around um, still good for what you're going to do next so I'll show you what it looks like when it's all together as a ball so this is this is what it looks like uh, when the dough comes together you know it's slightly tacky kind of feels like play-doh but not too sticky and what we're gonna do now is divide it into eight balls because it'll make eight uh, portions of the unleavened bread and then uh, roll it out okay guys my sister um, said that um, you're not supposed to mix it that much um, and she like divided it into eight balls what we're gonna do now is flour and like I said you can use parchment paper in the other video I gave you guys a tip you can use parchment paper um, it's just an easier way to roll out stuff instead of having to clean the whole countertop. And then what I have here is the whole dough and I am just flattening it into a disc like this. Then you want to flour the top and roll it out a little bit. Okay, so I rolled out my tortilla. It's, you know, about the size of a hand, roughly. Um, that's, you know, the size that you wanna make it. And now what we're gonna do is transfer it over to this skillet. And you can pan to the skillet. Uh, it's not buttered. You don't have to put any oil or anything on it. What we're gonna do is just straight up put the bread on the skillet, like that. And we're gonna bake it for a couple minutes on uh, each side and you can tell when it's done when you start seeing bubbles here panning closer to this one um, you can see there's bubbles there so I think it's ready to flip and you just want a light brown yeah just a couple minutes on each side and you will have unleavened bread so I will show you what the finished product looks like hot <laughs> we're gonna transfer it to this plate here 
And that is it. There is your unleavened bread. It's nice and tasty, nice and soft. You know, it's not too hard, but this is a really good and simple recipe. So I hope you guys give it a try. Let me know if you try it out in the comment section below or any recipes that you guys want to share. And I'll see you next time. Shalom. Bye guys. <laughs>